The Antipolo Cathedral is located in Antipolo City, Rizal, in the Philippines. It is also the Immaculate Conception Parish and formerly known as the National Shrine of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. It enshrines one of the most popular Black Madonna, Our Lady of Antipolo, also called Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. In this video, we are seeing the beautiful history of Our Lady of Antipolo. Our Lady of Antipolo is a 17th century wooden image of the Blessed Virgin Mary representing the Immaculate Conception venerated in the Philippines brought from Mexico. On March 25 in the year 1626, the new Governor General of the Philippines, Juan Nino de Tabora, left Mexico abroad the El Almirante Galleon towards the Philippines. The Governor brought with him the image of the Blessed Mother. The Governor Tabora safely arrived in the Philippines and grateful for this safe voyage, he gave a gift to the Filipinos. He entrusted them the statue of Our Lady that he bought. Later, this statue was named Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage in honor and remembrance of the safe voyage of the Governor. This title is also historically intertwined with the Manila Acapulco galleon trade. Faced with the dangers of spending many months at the sea, the travelers on the galleons always implored the heavens to give each galleon a safe voyage. It was a custom then to enshrine an image of a saint on every galleon that was to sail. This time, also Our Lady's image was enshrined in one of the galleons. Among all those saints that boarded the galleons, only the image of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage has a record of eight successful voyages. It was known that whenever the statue of Our Lady was on board, the galleons crossing the Pacific Ocean from Mexico to Philippines and back, the galleons were protected and did not drown. Elaborate Thanksgiving celebrations were done in Our Lady's honor each time the galleon docked safely on the Philippine shores. The governor who brought the statue from Mexico died in the year 1632. When the governor Tabora died, the statue of Our Lady was given to the Jesuits to keep it enshrined in the church of Antipolo which was being built. Because the church was under construction, the image of Our Lady was placed in an chapel. During the construction of the church, the image would mysteriously vanish several times and reappears on top of a Tipolo tree. And this was taken by the people as a demand of the Virgin Mary to be enshrined on that exact spot. And so the church was relocated to where the Tipolo tree stood. Also the tree was cut down and a pedestal was made out of the trunk of that same Tipolo tree to place Our Lady's statue. Finally, the church was built and Our Lady's statue was enshrined in the church. In the year 1639, the Chinese revolted in the Philippines and burned down the church. They also tried to burn the image of Our Lady but failed. They attacked Our Lady with spears, leaving scars over her face. Fearing for the statue's safety, the new governor Sebastian ordered the transfer of the statue to Cavite where it was temporarily venerated. Later, the statue was removed from the Cavite shrine and was placed in the galleons like the earlier days. Then the statue was brought back and was enshrined in the church. Later, the statue was canonically crowned by the Archbishop of Manila on 26 November in the year 1926. During the World War II, in the year 1944, the Japanese Imperial Army invaded the town and turned it into a garrison, with the shrine being used as an arsenal. To save the image, the church's head sacristan wrapped the statue in a thick woolen blanket and placed it in an empty petrol drum and buried it in a kitchen. The fighting between the Imperial troops and combined American and Filipino forces made the sacristan and other people to take the image out. Then they evacuated it to Coloic, then to Angono, Pasig, and later enshrined in a church in Coyapo. The statue was there for the remaining World War II. 
finally on 15th October in the year 1945 the statue was transferred to its own church in Antipolo where it resides today Our Lady of Antipolo was one of the most celebrated Marian images in the Philippines attracting millions of pilgrims from all over the Philippines and from all over the world Every first Tuesday of May was the feast day of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage So this was a beautiful history of Our Lady of Antipolo. Thank you so much for watching.